Hi there Notebook Gamers! A few weeks ago we had Alienware's smallest family member of their X lineup in the studio. And it left us really impressed. The only thing that really bothered us was fan noise. The small 14 inch gaming laptop got really loud. But this is the X17 and while it sports a much more powerful GPU, in fact this one right here might have one of the fastest RTX 3080 Ti's on the market, it also manages to stay relatively quiet. Not only compared to Alienware's own lineup, but also in comparison to similar high-end gaming notebooks. Our radio unit is quite the interesting configuration, being equipped with an Intel i7 12700H, the performance RTX 3080 Ti, running at up to 175 watts, 32GB of DDR5 4800 RAM and a 2TB NVMe SSD. While you can choose between two Full HD and one QHD model when ordering your own X17, we got the 4K 120Hz option right here. While the bigger X17 is not as uncompromisingly thin as its smaller sibling, it strikes a careful balance between looks and practical design. It might not be quite as slim and compact as something like your Razer Blade 17, but it's leaps and bounds ahead of something that we would have called a desktop replacement only a few years ago. That said, the cooling vents behind the display give the 17 inch gamer a larger footprint, so make sure your backpack has enough room before taking this one on the road. It is also quite heavy, but given that we have a 175 watts 3080 Ti in here, let's hope most of that weight comes from the cooling solution. Design is of course a subjective thing, and especially Alienware laptops have been very polarizing in this regard. I am personally a big fan of their overall design language, and the RGB ring around the ports in the back just looks plain awesome if you ask me. Speaking of ports, similar to the smaller 14 inch version, all of the X17's generous I.O. is in the back. You have access to two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one USB-C Thunderbolt 4, a 2.5 gigabit network jack, a second USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 and a micro SD card reader with very fast transfer rates. You can add up to three external displays that will be directly connected to the dedicated GPU via the USB-C port, HDMI 2.1 or the mini display port. Wireless performance is mostly average, we already tested both much faster as well as a lot slower modules in competing devices. While the trackpad for the large gaming laptop is relatively small compared to something like the Plate 17, it delivers a solid experience and worked without any problems during our time with it. The keyboard offers a very clean layout without a numpad and the switches felt amazing for both games and typing. They offer a very precise typing experience with adequate travel and a very pronounced pressure point, without getting distractingly loud. In terms of upgradability within the X17's chassis, you have access to a pair of SODIMM slots and a total of two M.2 slots for all of your storage needs. While we already tested the X17 with the 360Hz Full HD panel that offers similar specs to the MSI Titan GT77 or Aorus 17X, we took the 4K 120Hz panel for a spin this time around. While the before mentioned lower res option offers insane refresh rates and response times, the 4K variant is quite a bit slower but offers superior image quality across the board. Transforming the X17 from an absolute gaming beast to a well-rounded work and gaming hybrid. I was daily driving this one for a few weeks now and used it for both video games as well as all of our content production. It was an absolute treat, no matter if I was editing images in Photoshop or working on our videos in DaVinci Resolve. For the edge in gaming the panel supports G-Sync to prevent tearing and smooth out the occasional frame drop, and the vibrant colors make for a very immersive experience. While it might not be as fast as the 360Hz option, even in something like the latest Call of Duty, I never felt held back by the display, even though I wouldn't describe myself as a competitive gamer. I think the 4K option is a much more versatile choice should you use your laptop for more than just competitive multiplayer shooters. While the Full HD model we tested earlier this year was powered by an Intel i9 12900HK, the review unit I got right here comes with the i7 12700H. While the i9 was able to keep up with the newer i9 12900HX found in the Aorus 17X for example, the i7 is of course quite a bit slower. But given the general performance numbers of Intel's all like CPUs, the question is if that actually matters a lot these days. For almost all but some hardcore CPU bottlenecked applications, the i7 delivers excellent performance. 
that is on par with competing devices sporting the same chip. System performance is right up there with the fastest laptops in our database, even though the differences here are, as always, marginal and shouldn't matter too much in everyday use case scenarios. When you order your own X17, you have a few options when it comes to the individual storage configurations. While the full HD i9 variant came with two 1TB drives in RAID 0, mine had to make do with a single 2TB drive. While the raw transfer speed from the RAID array are simply mind-blowing, there are only a few workloads that can really benefit from such a solution. And even the single drive offers pretty amazing read and write speeds that shouldn't leave you wanting for anything. Both M.2 slots are equipped with heat spreaders for absolute stable performance. In the GPU department, the X17 is an absolute monster and is running neck on neck with the MSI Titan GT77 for the fastest 3080 Ti results in our database. Considering the much slimmer chassis compared to the big and chunky Titan, this is actually quite impressive. In terms of real-world gaming performance, the X17 also does not leave a lot to be desired. Dropping the resolution to Full HD or QHD will let you take advantage of the native refresh rate, while the beastly RTX 3080 Ti can also deliver in 4K, especially when DLSS comes into play. The fast GPU makes the X17 also a joy to use should you work in the creative industry or if your workflow favors applications that take advantage of that much raw GPU muscle. In low load or idle scenarios, the X17 stays mostly quiet. The fans will start to run every now and then, but should never bother you while surfing the web or doing some light productivity tasks. In the full performance mode, the big 17-inch gamer can get very loud, but still has the edge compared to something like the Titan GT77 or the Legion 7. I personally left the big Alienware on the standard performance mode for most of the time. The GPU might be limited to about 140 watts, but the system will stay a lot quieter and still delivers excellent performance that should not make for a significant difference in your gaming or work experience. We took some noise samples for you in different scenarios and performance modes, so you can get an idea for yourself. Since fan noise is well-controlled and balanced mode, you could theoretically take advantage of the Alienware speaker system, even for some occasional game audio. It can deliver a wide range of sound, but sometimes distorts or significantly muffles higher frequencies, which can result in a less than pleasing audio experience. When it comes to power consumption and battery life, the X17 is a classic desktop replacement. Meaning you can run it on battery for moving it from point A to point B, but actually really doing something while away from the wall? Well, better hurry. There is no way to sugarcoat this, but if you're looking for a 17-inch laptop with good battery life, this one ain't it. Alright folks, let's wrap this up. I must admit I enjoyed reviewing this one a lot. Alienware put together a no-compromise performance machine in a very nice looking chassis with amazing display options and very solid I.O. While fan noise can get quite loud when you want to take advantage of everything the X17 is capable of, the excellent balance mode is an amazing middle ground between desktop level performance and more than acceptable fan noise. If you fall within a similar user group as myself, as in you are a passionate gamer but need to get work done, and you also fancy a design that turns heads, well the X17 is tough to beat. But please let us know what you think about this one. That would be it for today. Please feel free to like the video when you felt entertained and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex, you have been absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.